We were coming up on the last days of filming. We filmed this over a period of three days. Each day was focused on something else. This was the second day and we were focused on the airlock and the cockpit. I knew that we had the set built very well, thanks to Joel and Stefo. And uh, it was overwhelming how much good stuff was in this set. And then having the cast and crew there, checking it out with us, just made it fantastic. Oh my god! You guys, this is so cool! I mean, this felt like we were really filming on a professional film set. Felt amazing. Everybody came together perfectly. Everybody worked extremely hard on this. Even my wife, Alicia, was there helping us out. That was like watching paint dry. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Great job. Great job. And then seeing Rob's, Rob and Ray's suit up close was awesome. Amazing. Chelsea had a hard time breathing in it. It didn't really have a lot of air moving in and out. Um, and the helmet would fog up, so she'd have a really hard time seeing. But she was a trooper, and she made it through and did an awesome job. And then inside the cockpit, unfortunately, we didn't get any behind the scenes shots because the camera had died. We still pulled it off, still got some awesome shots. The location was a park up near the top of Lake Winnebago, near Appleton, where Chelsea's from, so she didn't have much of a drive to get there. It's kind of cool. But it was an incredible location. Yeah. Looked very sci fi. We took so pieces of the bunker and basically stood them up against the wall there, as you can see. Put some smoke in there. Uh, there it was almost like a little tight closet, so she had some room to stand inside of it. And the way that Andrew lit it uh, made it look like it was a bunker inside the mountain. It was incredible. After we completed the uh, outdoor shots, freezing our asses off, uh, it was time to start more paint footage. And I wanted to capture the, the look of a sun for the trailer. I had an idea for the teaser trailer in mind and I needed to get the surface of the sun. Fluorescent paints and um, golden glitter and uh, peroxide. And I think it, the shots came out very well. And then I had to get a rail system, and it was time to use Alex's awesome ship model. And this was the first time that I had ever done any mocap, anything. Um, and so at first I started taking individual frames, individual pictures, because I wanted better control of the light behind a black background. Uh, but I don't know. It, it looked okay. I mean, it, it, it was my first attempt. And I'm proud of what we got. I, but I decided to go the green screen route after some comments that people were making about the footage and uh, real time instead of individual frames because it was easier to edit with. And so as you can see here, this is the paint backgrounds that, that we caught mixed with the live footage. And our editor, Josh Hughes, did an excellent job piecing this together and after that footage was done, it was time to start marketing and promoting our campaign. We went all out for the marketing campaign. Hey, I wanted to go further than we did with the Acoustica. It's not that heavy. Name's Cameron Kern. I am the writer and director of this upcoming short science fiction film called and Stefo and Joel even stepped Stephano, in and, and helped me out marketing. Tell the camera a little bit more about the... Uh... 
Uh, why don't you just tell them about the process? Oh, it was great. That, that's that, all right. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, we've reached the end of our journey. I hope you've enjoyed this brief but exciting look at the behind the scenes process of Infinitus. It's hard to imagine where this film started and where it ended up. I'm so, so extremely grateful for all the people that have backed this project, that have joined me in this journey, all the cast, all the crew, Everybody came together to work on this small budget practical effects sci-fi film and without them uh, I wouldn't have gotten anywhere near the awesomeness that we did My heart and my thanks go out to all of you Maybe this will motivate people out there to do their own low budget sci-fi films and I am very grateful and overwhelmed with what we were able to make with the amount of money, the amount of time, and amazing skill of these people that were involved. Blows my mind. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Cameron Kern. You've been watching behind the scenes of short science fiction film infinitus if you liked this video please share it subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time